let me do a quick garden update I've got on this back to Eden spot I've got it's uh, probably 50 by 50 maybe 40 by 50 I've got uh, 80 some odd peppers planted well we got a couple of frosts and killed about 50 of them I was not happy about that I got about six more in the greenhouse I'll bring out and then I'm done I sold probably <sighs> probably 200 of them and I wish <laughs> wish I had about 50 of them back right now uh, this is squash it's already blooming as you can see uh, looking nice and purty and uh, already getting some squash bugs so I need to mix up my stuff if you hadn't seen my video squash bugs must die ee, 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 ee. watch it uh, this is anyway. This is my peppers. These are all jalapeno gigantia peppers, and in place of where some of these peppers died, I came back through yesterday or day before and, and planted some black cherry peppers right there in the place of the dead um, gigantias. <coughs> Got a tickle. Sorry. Uh, pole beans on a pole on a fence, and all right. I, this is what I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing a uh, spearmint, a spearmint, not gum. I'm doing a spearmint. Well, we say it down here. You've done me a spearmint. Uh, I am uh, very impressed with mitt lighter, and I think I'm pronouncing that correct correctly. The mitt lighter gardening method. So what I did was buy the program, uh, the ebook, and um bought the uh, fertilizer package and I am uh, because I've got several different gardens I've got a, a, a raised bed garden I'll show you that I'll, I'll shut up so I can show you that in just a minute but anyway basically what I'm doing I have come through here and dug a trench in the back to Eden and I put the mid lighter down watered it in good and on the other row it's, it's identical plants planted at identically the same time uh, I came through with just triple 13 down this I know you say you're not supposed to have to fertilize back to Eden. Well, you know, uh, this is an experiment. Your first year, you probably need to anyway. But uh, so, what? I, uh, again, this is just an experiment. I'm going to see if the mitt lighter, again, I'm kind of impressed with OLDS Prepper and his mitt lighter method. So, if the mitt lighter does tremendously better than just triple 13. Uh, then I'm going to order some more of that stuff and I will update you as the year progresses Assuming we don't get another stinking frost. They're calling for 37 degrees next Friday So I, I'll turn the sprinklers on that leather the other night I had three sprinklers running on this thing right here to try to keep this stuff alive uh, some more um, Squash and these are cantaloupes here now I just did all these with triple 13 and watered them in good. So let me show you the raised okay, bed this garden. This is what I quick. call my tub garden, and basically, as I've shown you before, it is fiberglass tubs about two feet by four feet that uh, I've uh, cut the bottoms out. And uh, don't ask me where to find some because you can't. But anyway, uh, I'm doing this entire tomato patch. I've got some garlic over there, and we'll look over in a minute. I'm doing an entire tomato portion of this mid lighter. So what I've done is, because I need the fertilizer to get down to the dirt, I raked the wood chips back. And the only reason the, uh, I have wood chips here is because they were just already here, and I didn't want to. I'd already planted, and I'm, I'm afraid I'd break the plants and stuff. So I've raked the the wood chip uh, wood chips back to expose the dirt. Did the mid lighter, watered it in. This is my second feeding. Uh, about three days ago, I had my second feeding. Uh, it's a weekly feed, and I tell you what, oh, gone. These suckers are looking good. Uh, these are all celebrity, or at least these are. These two rows here are celebrity. I've got three. They've got it planted fairly intensively. I've got one about every foot. And uh, anyway, they're, they're looking, they're looking dang good. Uh, that one's not, but the rest of them are. I've got. Uh, blooms and uh, I just uh, I don't know this one is uh, some of these things are two feet tall and uh, again I can keep them alive through one more stinking frost of course I said that the last frost uh, but these are all celebrities here now this back row this, this row here this this last row 
is these are and I've never grown them before but it's a watermelon beef steak and as you can see it's, it's what they call I think they call that a potato leaf uh, tomato or a regular tomato has got a different leaf entirely these are called potato leaves and it's an heirloom watermelon beef steak and uh, let me see if I can focus in on that watermelon beef steak so they've done pretty well now that's watermelon beef steak from their own it's probably one two three four, five, six, there'd be 12 plants. And the rest of them down this last row are Rutgers. Strawberries looking good. I hit them with a little mitt lighter. And uh, strawberries are looking nice. Charred, that is rainbow. Regular, regular, regular. And some more rainbow charred. And uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six tubs full of garlic. Uh, it's an heirloom garlic. I really don't remember what kind I bought, dadgummit. I should have wrote it down. In my first year to grow garlic, but um, that's uh, that's some pretty good looking stems. I may have planted two close together. I don't think so. They're about six inches, and I've got a couple of them. When I had way too much garlic, I went back and put maybe one or two in that uh, in between that maybe I shouldn't have. Uh, and uh, these are asparagus beds. I cut them down because we just were not staying up with them. And now I, I just went ahead and cut them all down. And now we're just going to supposedly, hopefully, have enough sense to eat off the ones ooh, that come up, such as that little joker right there. So uh, anyway, he's, he's up and he'll get snatched off here maybe tomorrow. Uh, my shed project is right there. Hasn't moved, hasn't stopped any. I've got some kind of a problem here back here in the tub garden, and I can't I can't decide if it's moles or if it's frogs. I have got tons of frogs, and they burrow in. They make a little hole, because I start watering, they'll jump out of the hole sometime. So something's in here making a bunch of holes, and uh, if it's moles, I need to do something about it. But I don't know what. Anyway, uh, this is, again, mitt lighter, uh, celebrity tomatoes, and boy, do they look good. Just two feeds on them so far, two weeks, and uh, before that, I don't think I gave them anything. I might give them a little, little fertilizer. <sighs> um, got some volunteer uh, over there, some volunteer uh, onions and a couple of three garlics that I planted, gosh, a year ago or something so anyway in this uh i've got some if anybody lives close and wants some grapes i've got some uh black spanish grapes for sale i don't ship so don't don't ask because i'm not sure i know how to ship and not, and not kill them dead uh this row of tubs here just a single row i will uh i've got some peppers uh, it's a, um, I got a wasp buzzing around me, and y'all don't know me, but I hate wasps. Uh, I've got some, uh, what are they called? Red Marconi, sweet Marconi reds, and we really like those. They're not hot, it's kind of like, like a sweet banana pepper with a bell pepper, uh, taste to it, kind of cross, and, uh, we really, really like those. So, um... That, that's, uh, I'll have some in here. I've got uh, 12 of those plants. It's still in the greenhouse, still real small. And i uh, got about 12 of those. So we'll, we'll put those out. And I think that is going to do it. Do you want to see my grapes? Do you want to see my muscadines? Let me hurry over here. And I know I'm shaking the camera and you're getting seasick. These are plums. Plums. Uh, up there is peaches. These are uh, ne uh, nectarines. Anyway, uh, muscadines got three vines of muscadine. One, two, three. They're beginning to show uh, just the, the the beginnings of some uh, some seed. These are black Spanish, and dead gum they go crazy down here. I mean, 
I got I got little grapes everywhere. Just look at that. Just I mean, that's a black Spanish. These are probably about, about three years old. Been in the ground maybe three years, so they're still fairly young. And I guarantee you, those are two and a half, three feet long. The shoots, and they were <laughs> two weeks ago. They were like four inches long. I mean, they were nothing. So they're going crazy right now. I've got some uh, kiwi. I can't decide. Somebody tell me if that's, I don't think it's my kiwi. It's right smack dab in the middle of my kiwi rootstock. But that's got to be poke salad. And I hate to take it down. Kiwi, female kiwi, female kiwi, female kiwi, and a male. Got to have one male to every, I think, eight females. Uh, so this, and, and I lost some some grapes that I had here uh, last year. Probably my neglect. I wasn't, uh, didn't have my water on a timer. That's why I told you, get your, if you do your drip system, watch my video, drip uh, irrigation watering, and um, shows you how to put a drip system together, but a timer is a crucial element because you will forget and kill stuff. So I think that's about it. I've kept you long enough. Maybe you fast forwarded through some of it. And um, hopefully you saw enough to say, golly, either he knows what he's doing or golly, <laughs> that guy needs to go back to the city. <sighs> anyway, I think that's going to do it for our little trip around the garden. I'll leave you with the grapes. All right, we gone.